What's up gang and welcome back to Murdered Soul Suspect. In the last video I filmed, I pretty much filmed eight, roughly 9 to 10 minutes worth of interactive cutscene. Ooh, spooky. Anyway, we are Ronan O'Connor, a dece recently deceased detective. Look, my body's actually right there. And we have to go down this alley and pursue this ghost girl, so let's go. Where is she? There she is. And of course, a ghost, as we are, can pass through real world objects, like that. And we also leave ghostly imprints of uh, the things that we pass through. See, but see these blue glowy things? We can't actually pass through them because they're ghost, or the, not ghost objects, spirit objects that exist only in the spirit world, so we can't actually go through them. We can, however. Oops. That's one of the powers we'll get later in the game, that's to uh, remove certain objects. Get run after this girl. There's not much to explore around here. Oh, she put a cart in my way. Well, no problem, I can just walk through this dumpster. Hey, why did you run? It gets old. Giving counsel to the new ones. Don't take it personal. Notice how her garb looks like something out of the Running 1800s. Walls, it's like she was a witch or something. Appear, you, you look like you've been here a while. You must know how this place works <laughs> then. Works? This place isn't hard to understand. Figure out your gifts, and maybe you won't get trapped here. How could I get trapped here? Who are you? Looks like you've been here a while. This is Me? the bulk of the conversation I'm gimmick of this game. Like it's like you pick a pick a the choice, and then you watch a shortcut scene no on the dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Lots you of can dialogue. rob yourself of your future, or others can do it for you. But do you mean my gifts? What do you mean gifts? And because as a detective you have to ask questions and this is part of the investigation mechanic. We can ask here. spirits questions instead of asking real people some questions. Unique, so wonderful first. Some common possession, influencing people, manipulating the more fragile of ghostly objects to appear or disappear. Yeah, she basically it, become ability. She essentially what's it detailed all the powers that Ronan I think has. I haven't played enough into the game to find out. Why can't I pass through everything? The door just hit me, but I'm passing through other stuff. What is it with this place? I, I explain. Uh, she'll really explain this for me. We can't enter the buildings the people of Salem hmm. have consecrated. Consecrated being they bless the home, the I think, or some other uh, door, religious thing. I can't really. I, I don't really remember. I. But once inside. I'm not too, I'm not too terribly no into these other us. things. You'll know the ghostly objects we can't pass through by their blue glow. It will all seem logical in due time. It's logical. New clue, ghost inf abilities. Uh, can I actually... Psychic says, oh, the, the, the collectibles aren't passed through by the truth saves. Oh, that's so stupid. How could I rob my own future? Dang it. Okay, I, I, I actually thought I wouldn't have to devote sorry, time to I, I collect these idiotic collectibles. How could I rob uh, they're actually these side, uh, these uh, collectibles scattered throughout something. this uh, this entire you game. As far as I know, I've only collected one set, and they are a set worry, of boilers, common. or ghostly oh. boilers in this apartment building we'll be going to that's later, crazy. after we finish this entire conversation. What do you mean, others can steal my future? And Demons. what happens is they with these collectibles, you can collect them. Themselves. Uh, collecting all of them unlocks on a now. roughly two to three. I don't know. Sometimes uh, the length varies, but Those it unlocks like a pretty I short uh, audio, audio, audio log cutscene, this sort of thing. Because it doesn't have a video. It's just it shows a picture, and then uh, I need to figure out uh, they'll be talking over it, like what happened to the what happened that's inside the this house. That why here. that's why there are these like little figments well, of the slash the collectibles here. that you have to uh, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Take, wait, 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 there's more I need to collect know. rather, sorry. And then boom, demons! Oh my oh, shit. We'll be seeing them later in the game. Be careful out there. You never know what's waiting around the corner. Weird. I'm just trying to go over as much as I can in these early videos so that I don't have to go over so much in the later videos. It'll say it'll help me save time and it'll help me save uh, It'll help me progress a lot quicker. New clue, unfinished business. I have to find out who murdered me. Let's let's run through this very very quickly. So we gotta run down this way, head through this fence, and as you can see, oh my God, the way is blocked. But what can we do? We can actually see these. We can remove them. Ta-da! There actually isn't anything in here. I checked already. There's nothing to this house, but we can remove the barrels that are here, so that we can oops, pass through this like a doorway. See these? See these blue, blue glowy buildings? The walls? It's because th these houses are consecrated. So we can't actually pass 
through the walls as a spirit. Oops. And let's enter the town, and by the time we enter the town, you can see what happened to our body. Also, I apologize if I talk very Seeing fast. Your own it's... Body no! No! Uh, this always happens. The, the same thing happened the last time as well. It's like looking in a mirror you don't want to see but can't turn away from. And that's when you realize you no longer know which one's real and which is the reflection. Yep. Oh, I'm dead. <coughs> yeah. It's kind of surreal, isn't it, to look at your own body? Uh, Ronan? Ronan? Ronan! <laughs> This is it freaks him out that people can walk through him. Great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Backup. Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. <laughs> Goes through his head. Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. No, who's that behind him? <gasps> <clears throat> Sir. Hey, 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 Baxter, hey! Hey, just get back to taking them statements. Come on. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. That's the lunkhead called Baxter. Thing. He hates running. Can you tell? Pay your specs and move on. Yeah, maybe it's not my scene. But it is my case. Have you ever heard that voice Tomorrow before? Tomorrow it'll be my case. And the next day, until we catch him, you do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. You know the procedure when a family member is. Yeah. And that's my brother. He's a lieutenant in the police department. Well, that's not my brother. He's Ronan's brother, who's a lieutenant in the Salem Police Department. I have no idea what's his name, but. <laughs> He is apparently Ronan's uh, count of the times brother who is a police dead. officer. I don't know what was his inspiration. I don't know what his role is in the story. I haven't played that far yet, like I've said. Come on. You do me a favor, God man. Wiggling the sticks in anticipation. Tell Julie I miss her. Oh, she knows. She knows, Rex. Rex. She knows. Rex O'Connor. T-Rex. I need I don't to find my killer's trail before it goes And thus, cold. we are introduced to our first investigation of the game. Let's do this. Let me get my eyes on Stuart's notepad. See what they've learned. Let's. Uh, I saw him. He killed that man in the street. And this nice investigation is called, you know, about. look for a few leads. We need to investigate my murder. I, I need to find a lead here. Any leads that I don't already know about. And because I'm a detective investigating my own murder, I can actually uh, you know, inspect things. No one can see me, so I can do other things like possess people and read their minds and influence them and sort of thing. And yada yada. And so this is the core mechanic of the game. Uh, whenever you have an in uh, investigation, which is signified by this uh, little uh, pop-up thing right here, you are given a crime scene. And you can expect elements within the crime scene for clues that might, may or may not lead you to other other things. You can look at the details of the clues when you press the, uh, the uh, back button on an X360 pad, or most, li most likely the select button on a PS controller. That's me, beaten, thrown from window and shot to death. Whoever my killer is, he sure wanted me dead. You get clues like this. I don't know what the shields next to them mean. But that's this is essentially how the investigation mechanics work. You can investigate the clues, inspect them, kill by my own bullets. You can also uh, look at possess certain people that are maybe interviewing people or looking at things that you want to look at, uh, looking at things that you want to see, like notes, so on and so forth. It plays kind of like this one uh, Nintendo DS game I'm playing called Ghost Trick: Phantom Detective, kind of like that, except that it's uh, you. In, in Ghost Trick, you put, you are a spirit that can only possess inanimate objects instead of possessing people, like this. So you can pick in the notebook. What did he find out about my killer? Uh, this is the most this is the most relevant, merely because the only weapon at the scene uh, belongs to me. So he actually didn't bring along his own weapon. That's one of the clues that you can find by possessing people and looking at them. Other clues include influencing them. Oops. Wait, hold on. I missed something. I need to eavesdrop on this conversation. 
night, huh, Robinson? Yeah, I have no idea when to quit. Ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than a cop. Yeah. He lived like a thief, he had died like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. Yeah, I was still a badge, dickhead. Right, let's dispossess him and then possess. Oops, not you! Wait. Hold on. Okay. Be patient with her. Yeah, you can read minds of people sometimes. To gain, uh, I, I I honestly don't know what's the, what's the point of this mind mind reading mechanic when you only get two lines per person. Like an influencer, what would make her tell her who she really saw? And this is one of the things that you also have to deal with. You are given a spread of clues. The shields down below, I guess they are a rating of how you process certain information. But cl uh, collecting selecting the wrong one gives uh, ticks off a shield. You can't actually lose all three shields. I actually thought that in my first playthrough. But you can't, you, you, you can go down to one shield and then that's it. You can continue losing shields until... Uh, you, you can continue just selecting the wrong things until you find the correct one. But I think this time it's my death. No, it's not! Damn it! Uh, shit. Oops. No, it's the... Uh, shit, it's, it's this one. Yeah, that, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that man and I outside. Uh, looking Outside. Slightly less perfect than my previous spectrum, but okay. Slightly more perfect than my previous spectrum, but okay. And that's it. You've got all the clues so we can conduct, conclude our investigation. That's it. That's how investigations work. That came here for a reason. What was it? Yeah, was. Ta-da! I'm gonna bear myself some clues. That's my way in. Nope, you can get in now. There's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. This is after that ghost chick, but uh, I talked to her already. I won't bore you with unnecessary dialogue because I want to progress the game. Ta-da, apartments! <laughs> hey Sarge, 1019, please return to the scene as of and of course it la lags when it's loading a new area. The game treats the cutscenes like loading screens instead of actually having loading screens in the game. And just like that, we're trapped. Oh shit. There's someone back there. Nope, never mind. Let's go. And we are in a new area. Come on. Finish. Thank you. Oh. It's just for you. I know something. Yeah, go back through the wall. And that and here we are in the apartments. They are actually there are collectibles I need to collect here. There's a side case I need to finish here. And there's the investigation up on the top floor, along with a couple other new game mechanics being introduced in this building. So I can see that in the next video. If you like the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos and I will see you in the next video where we explore the apartments. Ta-ta!